Hi there, my name is Brandon. Today I'm going to give you a quick demo of Bark for Schools. If you've not signed up yet, you can click the Get Started button on the landing page. This will take you to a form towards the bottom of the landing page with name and email address. You click Get Started Now, this will generate an email with explicit setup instructions for your domain. Assuming we have an account, we'll click Login at the top. We'll choose our domain account, and we'll click Allow to allow Bark to access the information on our G Suite domain. If we're signing up for the first time, we'll first be taken to a settings screen. At the top are some controls to change the sensitivity of certain abuse types on the system. So you can see here there's a profanity choice. We default to only severe. If you'd like to receive all, you can toggle it to that or none at all. That's another option. Towards the bottom, there's a monitoring section. This will list out all the organizational units for your domain. And we also put numbers next to them to see how many students are in each. We generally suggest you select the student organizational units that you'd like to monitor. Many times schools put devices or Chromebooks into other organization units. You don't need to select these. These are just for users. On the top right, there's some controls. You can click account admins. This is where you can invite other administrators in your district or school to, to access BARC and to access certain organizational units. Um, to create a new invite, you would type in their email address here. And there's some scoping rules here that allow them to see everything or just specific organization units. So if we click off, we can select individual OUs here that they would have access to. This is helpful for specific schools. If you don't want that principal or guidance counselor to be inundated with issues from other schools that they're not necessarily concerned with, you can specify this here so all the dashboard and reports will be based specifically on the organization units that they have access to here. You can also specify whether they should get email notifications for severe issues. You can choose yes, no, click invite, it'll generate an email to them and they can come back and create their account. Towards the bottom, it lists all the active administrators in the account. And if you'd like to adjust any of these settings for them, you click the edit button and adjust it here. And obviously the delete button does what you think it does. It will delete that administrator from the, set, the system. In general, you'll find out most of the information from the dashboard. There's not a ton of users in this account, but you'll see there's a table for the top issues that found and the, and the students with the most issues. Each of them you can click and find specific issues for that user. So we'll click through and you can see there's a number of filtering options here on the issues that are found based on the type of account, student, and the type of issue that we found. You can choose by needs review or those that have already been reviewed. And you can see here's a pretty standard listing towards the bottom. If you have many, you would have a list here. You can click into the issue and see the details of it. At the top, we show the user and the type of issue that it is, their email address, and which organization unit they belong to. We'll also put some notes here if we find that it'd be helpful so you can figure out what type of issue it is. Towards the right, there's a flagging option. This We see or, uh, administrators generally use this to come back if they wanna talk to the child about it. You can flag you know, a specific thing um, so you can find it easier. Back on the filtering screen, you see there's a flagging option so we can only see those that are flagged and it'll select obviously the one that was flagged here. And that's the quick rundown of Bark for Schools. If you have any other questions, feel free to email us at education at bark.us. Thanks.